Congratulations on receiving your new credential. In this module, we're going to show you how you can use your new digital open badge from Accredible. And we're going to look at several topics. First of all, how you access your credential view, how to share your credential, how to add evidence to support your credential, manage your credentials, and get help. So let's begin by reviewing how you access your credentials in Accredible. Now you'll be sent an email that contains a link to your new digital credential. And this link will take you to the credential view of your new badge, which is hosted on Accredible Secure Network. Now be aware that after you click on this link, the first thing you should do is set up a password for your credential wallet. And once done, you are then ready to manage and utilize your credential. So let's first review how you can share your credential. Now, this is really important because it allows whoever you share your credential with to easily verify your credential. And there are actually several different ways to share your credential, all of which link back to the credential view. You can use your unique URL. You can email your credential. You can use social sharing. You can embed your credential. And you can download an image file of your credential. Now, the simplest way to share your credential is to use your unique URL, which is located right up here. That is your unique URL. Now, you can use this URL in lots of different ways. You can include it in a digital resume. You can add it to a website or really any other kind of placement where you want to direct your audience to your credential. Now, as I said just a second ago, this link is unique to you. So when somebody clicks on it, it's going to take them back to your credential view where they can validate that you truly received the credential. Another sharing option is to send it using email. Now you can do this directly from your credential view page in Incredible using the email link shown right here. When we click on it, we have the option to enter the email address of the person that you want to share your credential with. Once done, click on send. Verify the recapture prompt, I am not a robot, and then click send. And your recipients will receive the email soon containing a link that will take them back to your credential view page. In addition to email, you can also share your credential on social media sites. And you use the social media widget right here from your credential view to create a post about your credential and then share it. Now, as you can see here, you can share to a variety of different social networks directly from your credential view page. Now, most likely, you're going to want to share your credential on LinkedIn. Now, before you can do that, after clicking the link, you do need to authenticate to LinkedIn. If you already have an account, come down to sign in, otherwise create a new one. I have an account, so I'm just going to log in here. Now, once you're logged in, a screen similar to the one that you see here is displayed. Now, notice that there are several different options available for sharing your credential on LinkedIn. The first one is to come down here and share a post that will appear in your newsfeed. So I would add some text right here and then come down and click on post. Alternatively, you can also send your credential as a private message. You would select your recipients up here, write them a message, and then send them the private message. And of course, you can also simply add your credential to your LinkedIn profile. A third sharing option is to embed your credential. For example, you can embed an image of your digital credential into your email signature, or you could embed it into a web page. Now to do this, you need to come over here and click on the embed link. And when you do, a screen similar to this is displayed where you can select the embedding option that you want to use. Notice that you have two options here to embed in your email signatures. We have instructions for Gmail and instructions for Outlook. You can also embed an image of your credential on a web page. To do that, you'd come down here, copy the link, and then add it to the page. Or if you wanted to, you could embed your entire credential page on a web page. To do this, you'd come over to embed full page. Then, for whichever option you chose, Follow the instruction for embedding your credential. Another option for sharing your credential is to download your badge as a PNG image file. To do this, come over here to the badge option and select it from your credential view page. And when you do, notice that a PNG file is downloaded. Let's open the folder where it resides. And this is the file 
containing your badge. I'll double click on it. You can see the badge right here. Now, it's important to note that the metadata contained within this image file can actually be used by others to verify your badge using an online badge validation tool. We go over here and open up a new tab. And we'll drag that file into the metadata editor. And here you can see the metadata information that is used to verify your badge. Now, it's important to note that you can add evidence to support your credential as well. Now, adding evidence items is a great way to provide more detail about how you achieved your credential and to show what makes your achievement unique to you. Now, evidence items could include such things as documents, videos, links to projects, and so on. To add evidence, just come over here and click on the Add Evidence icon, then drag and drop the files that you want to add, and then click Add. Now, before we end this module, we need to spend a minute reviewing how to manage your credentials. Now, quick note here, you do have to be logged into your Credential View page to do this. Now, if you notice up here, I'm already logged in, but if you weren't, you would be prompted to sign in. When that happens, use the email address that your credential was sent to and the password that you set up when you first accessed your Credential View. Once you do that, you can then manage your credentials. For example, you can manage your privacy options down here by clicking on the Privacy link. Notice that you can set your credentials to be either private or public. Now, if you choose public, which is the default, your credential is visible to anyone with the link, it can be shared on social media, it will be visible in search engine results, and it can appear on your professional directory profile. On the other hand, if you choose private, then your credential is visible only to you, and links on social media will not work. Your credential will be hidden from search engine results, and it cannot appear in your professional directory profile. Once you've made your selection, come down here and click on Update Privacy. You can also request a name change on your credential, if necessary. To do this, come over here and click on More, and then click on Request a Name Change. Enter the new name you want added onto the credential, and then confirm it down here, and click on Request. Now, if you have any questions regarding how to use, share, or manage your credential, you have two options for getting help. First, you can search the Accredible Knowledge Base at help.accredible.com, and you can search the Knowledge Base using this field right here. As an alternative, you can send an email to support at accredible.com. Congratulations on your achievement. Bye.